if there is one way to lose, this is the way. Uh, a way where you dominate the whole game, a way where the opponent doesn't know what else to do to to neutralize the game, to make time, to they park the bus. It's like they didn't want to play after they scored the goal. And and that's a lot for a team with the quality of Orlando. Um, all their, their stars, uh, I, I, I didn't see them on, on the field. And that's thanks to the effort and and the, the game and the and the team, the, the way they work and the way they play today. I'm very impressed. I mean, every weekend we are uh, we are in, improving and new players are coming in and, and you see that the group is getting bigger and there is more competitivity in the group. And uh, once again, if, you, if you're going to lose uh, at home, our home reputation, the first home defeat uh, this season, it has to be this way, um, fighting until the very last second, trying uh, absolutely everything, not to, to, to tie the game, to win the game. Uh, and if there is a team who played to win, it was DC United. So incredibly proud of the performance of the team. Uh, not only because that's the way DC United wants to play and will play, but also because of the opponent. Orlando is uh, has, has a lot of individual quality and and when you, when you neutralize that individual quality the way DC United tonight did, uh, I think we are in a good way. It's legitimate that Orlando uh, play this way and and decide to to use these tactics to win the game and it's it's football. I mean it's uh, uh, I don't have any problem with that. Um, but I, I wouldn't like to win a game this way, to be honest. If if you see a a, a win of this United this season of whenever it is with me as a coach winning this way, uh, I wouldn't like it. So of course it was frustrated because we try absolutely everything uh, to try to change tactics to make the the field wide with Kevin and with Julian to put Ola in the box. At the end, we ended up playing with Frederick Brianna as, as the number nine and and it was exciting. I mean, there are many different ways to lose a game. On a home game, you are um, obliged to give something to the fans. You need to play for them. You need to entertain them. And the way we tried to play, I think, was was with a big heart. And that's the way we want to play in front of our fans. And hopefully we can also start to play this way when we go away. Paul was great. I'm very happy with uh, his return. We all know how important he is for, for the team. And he started playing white as a wingback, but a, a very offensive wingback. I should say more a winger than a back. Uh, we caused a lot of trouble on that side to the point that uh, they changed Nani to the other side. And after five minutes, they put an extra center back to play with, a, with an extra defender. In the second half, when we came back, uh, Paul had more a free roll, and Julian was more the wing back uh, to press them even even higher and to give uh, to Paul more, more freedom up front to connect with Adrian Perez and with uh, and with Edison. And of course, uh, we couldn't expect more than 60 minutes for Paul. He came uh, from a long revalidation, and I was very pleased with uh, the hour he played. Uh, but we knew we knew that 60 minutes was his maximum, and from here on, he will keep on building up, uh, looking for 90 and looking to be uh, week in, week out, um, uh, sharper than, than today, but very pleased with his performance. You, the goal was to stretch that defense with Kevin and with Julian, to create more space uh, through the through the middle, through the center. You know that with crosses, we don't have that target uh, forward uh, to win the duels in the box. So the goal was to not stretch the field to put crosses, but to stretch them to create 1v1s on the side with Kevin. I think he, he came in very well, but also to combine through the middle at the end with Assad, with Flores, uh, with Felipe, um, so yeah, I, I don't think we could try more than this. Um, uh, and, and at the end was a lack of 
a lack of uh, inventivity, a lack of um, being fresh in the last pass in the final third. And of course, when you play against a team who is very deep in the, in, in, the, in the wrong box with numbers and with tall physical guys, it's never easy. But anyway, uh, they didn't even have any chance in the counter. Uh, we control every single second ball and the defense was very high. John Kemping, I think he, he doesn't need to, to take a shower today. So I don't think we could, do, we could do more than what we did. And I can only congratulate my, my players with the effort they did. Yeah, Kemp's uh, last game, I think, was November last year. So Kevin is coming from, from far and very happy with his, uh, his 30 minutes. The goal was to create 1v1s on the side, to really isolate him, to try to, to make the difference, to, to create a little bit of chaos. I, I like to give to the crea creative players freedom in the, on the final third. And Kevin is one of those players where you don't need to tell him too much. Just give him a spot on the field where he feels comf comfortable and confident. And I think that's his best spot, uh, starting from the left side. Uh, uh, with no, not much uh, defensive um, responsibility, where he can be fresh to make his action. So from here on, hopefully he can keep on on improving on the physical part to to give us 30, 40, 45, 50, and hopefully after that break that we have after Inter Milan, we can get uh, the best version of Kevin Paredes. Well, I see. Uh, week, week after week, uh, a lot of improvement. Um, I didn't see a DC United tired today while we play on Thursday, Thursday evening. Orlando didn't have a, a midweek uh, game and I was expecting heavy legs, but uh, I didn't see that. So that's huge. That's huge for with the way we want to play. Uh, you need to invest a lot of energy to be constantly pressing in the in the half of the opponent, and we did it the whole game long. So uh, even on the, from the physical point of view, I I saw a better DC United. And what what have we, what we need to improve is is of course finding ways against these type of opponents to still create danger. Maybe more shooting from outside the box, maybe more uh, combinations or one twos. Uh, down the wing sides, uh, instead of high crosses, more low crosses, cut passes or early crosses. Um, and I don't think you can do more than that. So we're going to keep improving, finding ways to score goals. And that's definitely a weak point if you, have, if you want to find something. But on the other hand, um, as long as you create the danger we create today and the danger we create against Chicago, and actually the danger you create every single game, um, sooner or later you're gonna score goals. So be patient, keep on building up, keep on giving confidence to the players, keep on building that fitness of the players that are um, joining the group and coming back. And I'm sure uh, I'm sure a, a lot a lot of games to come and I'm sure DC United will, will keep improving.